morning. Welcome to Devotions for Friday, November 18th. Uh, we'll be reading Psalm 46, and the devotion will be entitled, Water is Life. Um, a quick throw out to some birthdays today. Um, it's William Casto's birthday, it's Elise Hilkema's birthday, and it's also Laura Burns. So throw out some birthday wishes to those folks throughout the day today. Um, in reading this um, devotion, I remembered reading something else a while back, and I went back and researched it. And um, the, the song is entitled Water is Life, and it was written by Sarah Thompson, and it was inspired by the need to protect land and water. The song verses are, We are the water, sing, we are the water, we are where all life begins. We are the earth and sky, we are the thunder cries. We are the fire, we are the light in your eyes. We are standing strong like a rock, like a stone. On this sacred ground we belong. We are home, all my relations come, every nation come. All my relations under the sun, we are one. So the reading is Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, kind of like it's doing behind me right now, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Word of God, word of life. The devotion is based on verse four. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God the holy habitation of the Most High. Rivers are fundamental to human life and civilization. From the earliest days, wherever people settled, they knew the importance of living near moving water. The river would provide a source for drinking, cooking, cleaning, dousing fires. In protesting the placement of the Dakota Access Pipeline, people used a Lakota phrase that summed up the importance and sacredness of rivers. Miniwachoni, they said, water is life. Or as Pastor Adam has told us, in Spanish it's el agua es vida. In this psalm, after the destruction of mountains shaking and trembling, the writer brings us to the promise of joy and the stability of God's presence. We are invited to picture the river streaming through the city of God, a symbol of life that brings us to the central truth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. From verse 11. The timeless river running before we were thought of and long after we are gone is life itself, summed up in the promise of God's never failing presence. Please join me in today's prayer. Creator God, grant us humility in knowing that all that we need comes from you. May we be wise stewards of the earth you have made. Amen. And the prayer concern for today is for all who rely on nearby bodies of clean water for life and work. So thank you for joining me today. Um, blessings on your day. Farewell, and we'll see you soon.